Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So, you guys probably already saw this. Josh Dalmont of uh, the Royals. 5-1 Royals over the Twins. Two strikes. And uh, is this the worst ball call of all time? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's take a peek. And then let's talk about it. Oh man, 100 miles an hour right down the heart of the plate. What? Okay, so I think most would agree that this is a really bad call. Um, that's not the only reason I made this video, but let's let's check it out again. All right, so here's the pitch, and boom. All right, so <laughs> the ball is um, that's a strike. Okay, I don't care what anybody says in the comment section. Uh, it's a strike. There's no way that you can call this ball a ball, okay? Um, clearly, the umpire has a, a brain fart or something. Um, now, I know some people, I've seen this video all over the place, and I know some people in other comment sections have said, you know, oh, he missed his spot, that ball is going to, it's going to be called a ball if you miss your spot by that much. Listen, this is one of the misconceptions of baseball is that people think that the, the pitcher hits the catcher's glove every time no matter where it is. Like it actually is the the pitcher hits the glove right where it is actually not that frequently. That's really really difficult to do. All right, so the the, the catcher and what most catchers are doing nowadays is they're giving very low targets. You'll see a lot of catchers so You'll see guys down on one knee now, and they'll be given the target like way down. They don't even give a target. Some of them put their glove on the ground, and then they catch the ball as their glove moves up. All right, so here's his target is bottom of the zone, but that is not missing your target by very much. Okay, so I did see some people being like, oh, if you miss your target like that, it's going to be called a ball. Okay, I don't care where the target is. I don't care how the catcher's standing. That's a strike. Okay, that ball's right there. I've seen people drawing lines and stuff and being like, oh, look, that's high. That's not high, okay? That has to be a strike. So we're just going to say that the umpire had a brain fart and called it a ball, okay? Whatever. It's a bad call, but that's not the main reason Reason I did this video. Uh, it, I, it was a bad call, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is um, one of the things about the major leagues, and, and I was, you know, I had – like, I don't even know how many at-bats I had. 60 at-bats in the major leagues, so not very much at all. Um, but the strike zone, okay? The strike zone in the major leagues is awesome if you're a hitter. There were multiple times in my career, and again, it's a very short career, where I took a pitch. I can vividly remember it. I took a pitch, and so I take it, and I start to step out, and I'm already processing that it's a strike. And I'm already starting to think about, okay, the new count is 0-1. What could this guy be throwing me next? So I step out, and I never hear the umpire say strike. And, like, I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he said it really quietly. And then I, like, turn. I'm like, the strike? Ball. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's a ball? Like, the the ball, I mean, it, it, it felt like, it felt like the pitch was like, nope, that's, 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 let's, let's zoom in here. I mean, literally, it, feel, it felt like to me, like the ball probably hit like, like, well, maybe not that much, okay? I get, like, that's where it felt like the pitch was. And a ball. And I'm like, what? Excuse me? I almost wanted to be like, no, no, sir, that, that's a strike. I know I'm hitting, but that's a strike. So the, the, the strike zone in the major leagues is, as a, from a hitter's perspective, is awesome. And, you know, when you move your way up through the minor leagues to get to the major leagues, the umpiring progressively gets better and better and better. I mean, I remember a, at another at bat vividly in Eugene, Oregon, in rookie ball or short season A ball. My first season, 2006, just been drafted. Three two count. I'm not kidding you guys. This ball was thrown, and it in it. Can I draw? Can I draw an arrow? It bounced like right there. It bounced. I could have sworn the catcher went down to block the ball. And I, it's 3-2, ball bounces. I flip my bat, start to run. I hear strike three. Yep. I did the same thing. What? I was a little more pissed than that. I mean, I was really, I was kind of fired up about that one. I remember being like, the ball bounced. 
No, strike three. So you go from that in rookie ball sometimes, and then as you move up, you get to you know low A and high A, and then double A and triple A, and the the zone gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And when you get to triple A, I mean, when you're getting the triple A, you're not like the pitcher has to basically. I mean, I know there's already a box there. But the pitcher in AAA has basically has to try to throw the ball over the white. So you start throwing balls that are kind of like right there. And you might get that called a ball sometimes. Now, you'll get some strikes. But when you get to the major leagues, like that is almost never called a strike. It's almost always called a ball. And it is the best feeling in the world when you're a hitter and you take that pitch and you're used to, especially if you played in the, in the minors for a little bit, right? Like when I made my debut in 2008, I played, uh, let's see, I played short season in 2006. I played uh, low, I played, no, I played high A and double A in 2007. I played triple A in 2008. And then I got called up. So what's that? That's like two and almost a half years of playing in minor league baseball. And you get used to, you know, a good zone, but a little bit bigger zone. And then you get to the major leagues. And it's this really tiny zone. It feels awesome when you take that pitch and you hear a ball. I mean, I still hit 200. Uh, actually, I think I hit 190-something. But um, regardless, just imagine if it was a bigger zone. I would have hit 120. So that's, um, that's my thoughts on the strike zone. Again, this pitch, this pitch right here, I mean, that has to be, that has to be a strike. Boom. That's a strike. Good for this hitter that they called it a ball. But that's a strike every day of the week and twice on Sundays and every other day. That's all we got. Let me know what you think about this call. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Um, thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And that's all I got. We'll talk to you later.